Hello friends, welcome to the session on oscillators. In this session, we'll be discussing about the feedback principles. In this session, we will see what we mean by feedback, what are the different types of feedback, and we will obtain mathematical expressions for both the types of the feedback. We will also see what are the advantages of using feedback. Friends, as you know that you are viewing this session on my YouTube channel, Learn with Prakash Khanade, and do subscribe to the channel to see many more videos on the subjects of electronics and computer science. So let us start the session with the question, what we mean by the feedback. Now, suppose we have been given an electronic circuit and suppose this is the electronic circuit where there is an input and there is some output and observe that in this circuit, there is no connection between input and output. So whenever we have this situation, then that is being called as a no feedback situation. That is whenever the output is not coupled to the input, then we can say that feedback is not used in the circuit. But when we connect the fraction of the output back to the input of the circuit, then that is being called as a feedback. Feedback is mostly used with the oscillator circuits and it is also used with the amplifier circuits. Feedback is normally used with the electronic circuit because with the help of the feedback, it is possible that we can control the output of the circuit. As far as feedback is concerned, there are two types of the feedback that are commonly used in electronic circuits. The first feedback is being called as a positive feedback and the second feedback is being called as a negative feedback. So these are the two types of the feedback that are commonly used with the electronic circuit, positive feedback and negative feedback. Now when the feedback voltage, that is the voltage that is coupled to the input, it is in phase with the input voltage. That is the phase difference between the input voltage and feedback voltage is zero degree. Then such a feedback is being called as a positive feedback or it is also called as the regenerative feedback. Positive feedback will increase the input voltage because the feedback voltage is in phase with the input voltage and therefore such feedback will increase the input voltage. But when the feedback voltage is 180 degree out of phase with the input voltage, then such type of the feedback is being called as a negative feedback. Negative feedback is also called as the degenerative feedback. Negative feedback will reduce the input voltage since the feedback voltage and input voltage are out of phase with each other and therefore the negative feedback will always reduce the input voltage. You will observe that the positive feedback is being used in the oscillator circuit because whenever uh, we have positive feedback then the circuit becomes unstable and in oscillator we want to achieve the same thing we want to make the circuit unstable and therefore positive feedback is used in oscillator circuits. Negative feedback will provide some kind of stability to the circuit and therefore whenever we want to build a good amplifier, then in that case, we will use the negative feedback. So in this session, we are going to discuss what we mean by positive feedback, negative feedback, and we will also obtain the expressions for the amplifier with positive feedback and negative feedback. Now let us start with the positive feedback. Now suppose we have been given an amplifier and suppose the gain of the amplifier is A. This is the input voltage which is coupled to the amplifier and some part of the output voltage is coupled to the input through the feedback network. And suppose the feedback network is an electronic circuit and it has a gain and suppose the gain of the feedback network is beta. So here we are considering an amplifier with the gain A and we are considering a feedback circuit and this feedback circuit is having the gain beta. Now the fraction of the output voltage is coupled back to the input of the amplifier. Now since uh, the output voltage is VO dash and beta is the gain of the feedback network and therefore the feedback voltage that is being coupled to the input of the amplifier is beta times VO dash. Now if the feedback is positive then we know that the feedback voltage and the input voltage they are in phase with each other and therefore now the input voltage will become vi plus beta times vo dash so this beta times vo dash will get added into the vi 
and therefore we will get the new input voltage and this is vi dash and this is just nothing but vi plus beta times vo dash this voltage is amplified a times and therefore the output of the circuit becomes vo dash is equal to a times vi plus beta times vo dash and therefore we can write this equation as a times vi is equal to vo dash minus a beta times vo dash or this is just nothing but vo dash into the bracket 1 minus a beta so we are just rearranging the terms here now we can have a gain of the amplifier with feedback observe that the original gain of the amplifier is a now because of the feedback arrangement the gain of the amplifier is being changed and this is now a dash and this is just nothing but vo dash divided by vi so which is just nothing but a divided by 1 minus a beta from this expression we can write the gain of the amplifier as a divided by 1 minus a beta so the gain of the amplifier with positive feedback is given as a dash is equal to a divided by 1 minus a beta so in this expression this beta is being called as the feedback ratio and the term a beta is being called as a feedback factor now the amplifier gain with the feedback and this is being called as a, a dash and this gain is being called as a closed loop gain because of the feedback arrangement used in the circuit and this term 1 minus a beta it is being called as the loop gain of the amplifier so observe that because of the positive feedback the gain of the amplifier becomes a dash is equal to a divided by 1 minus a beta now we will go for the negative feedback suppose the arrangement is the same we have an amplifier with the gain a we have a feedback network output voltage of the amplifier is coupled to the feedback network and output of the feedback network is coupled back to the input of the amplifier here also we will suppose that the gain of the amplifier is a and the feedback circuit has its gain and suppose it is beta now the fraction of the output voltage is coupled back to the input and this feedback voltage is beta times vo dash now here we will suppose that the feedback is negative and when the feedback is negative we know that the feedback voltage and input voltage they are out of phase with each other and therefore this voltage will be subtracted from the input voltage and therefore the new modified voltage will be vi minus beta times vo dash now this voltage is amplified a times and therefore the output becomes vo dash is equal to a times vi minus beta times vo dash now we can rearrange this equation a times vi is equal to vo dash plus a beta times vo dash which is just nothing but vo dash in the bracket 1 plus a beta and therefore now we can obtain the expression for the amplifier with negative feedback and this is just nothing but a dash is equal to vo dash divided by vi which is equal to a divided by 1 plus a beta so the gain of the amplifier with negative feedback is given as a dash is equal to a divided by 1 plus a beta where beta is being called as the feedback ratio and the term a beta is being called as the feedback factor so the gain of the amplifier with feedback is a dash now and this gain is being called as a closed loop gain this is a closed loop gain because of the feedback arrangement used in the circuit and observe that the term a beta is being called as the loop gain of the amplifier so whenever in a amplifier in an amplifier you make the arrangement of the negative feedback then the gain of the amplifier is modified and it becomes a dash is equal to a divided by 1 plus a beta so you can easily observe that the denominator in this equation is increasing and therefore the gain of the amplifier in negative feedback decreases while in case of positive feedback the gain of the amplifier with positive feedback will increase now let us discuss some advantages and disadvantages of the negative feedback you will find that whenever we use the negative feedback with an amplifier then there are several advantages say for example the gain stability of the amplifier will get enhanced because of the negative feedback so whenever you want to build a good amplifier then it is always better to go with the negative feedback because it will increase the gain stability 
the bandwidth of the amplifier is also increased. The bandwidth will refer to the range of frequencies that can be properly amplified by the amplifier. So this bandwidth will get increased because of the negative feedback. In amplifier, there will be less distortions whenever we make the use of the negative feedback because the distortion level is reduced because of the negative feedback. The amplifier will have a less amount of noise or you can say that the noise in case of amplifier is reduced because of the use of the negative feedback. The fidelity or the range of frequencies to which amplifier can amplify will get enhanced. Therefore, you can build a hi-fi high fi high amplifier by using the negative feedback. It is also possible that you can have the desired input and output impedances with the amplifier whenever you go for the use of the negative feedback. So there are several advantages uh, when we make the use of the negative feedback. But the only disadvantage of the negative feedback is that the amplifier gain is reduced. But the stability will get enhanced. All such advantages of the negative feedback will be discussed in detail in our another session. So thank you friends for viewing the session. Hopefully you have understood what we mean by the feedback, what are the different types of the feedback and how we can obtain the expression for the gain of the amplifier with feedback. Thank you all for giving the session.